guys this tutorial is how to use your Xbox one on your Mac OS X for gaming or whatever it is you might want to use it for um, a sec the second part of this tutorial is going to show you the applications that you're going to need to download and install to run but this is crucial you need to run these lines in command in terminal for um, these applications to work okay so the first is going to be this line right here I will put this line in the description basically you need to run uh, enter this line and hit enter it's gonna ask you to hit return to continue hit enter and then you're gonna type in your password if you're not familiar with terminal it is not going to show you that you are typing your password ignore this just continue to type in your password in and hit enter um, if you do not have command line tools installed you're gonna to have to do this so a prompt is gonna come up telling you that you need to install command line tools so hit do not um, click get Xcode just click install and download the 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 software um, give it about a couple minutes to download it's gonna download and once it is done just click done and then on terminal it is gonna tell you that to just press any key when the installation is complete once you do that um, just hit enter and then it's gonna tell you that it's installing homebrew it's gonna come up with a prompt that um, that gives you the amount downloaded and your download speed let it download and it's gonna tell you that it's installed and it's gonna finish once that is finished you're gonna type in brew install lib usb okay you're gonna type in brew install lib usb hit enter it's gonna download and it's gonna install um, once it is done there's gonna be a little beer icon on the left somewhere here that's when you know that everything's installed and everything will um, work correctly now anywhere in between this if it asks you for your password or anything like that enter your password let it download let it install I'm not doing it now because it's already installed and it's not going to show uh, the same screen as it's going to show you guys so once that is done uh, you can continue to the next part of the, well it's just going to continue to the next part of the video it will work for any game well I hope any game and uh, it'll require two to three applications um, I've basically read a lot of forums github um, and I found one guy who's selling drivers for the Xbox One controller come on mate you you can't sell such things okay so we are gonna start with this first link I'm gonna put the link in the description all the links that you're gonna need Okay, first one is Xbox One Controller Enabler.zip. You're going to just click here, download a zip file. Once that is downloaded, it is going to look like this. It's an application native to the Mac OS X system. Next, put a link in the description for this. It's going to automatically download, so don't freak out. If it does not work, you're going to want to search in Google WJoy, just like this, download. Just WJoy download is going to bring you to this website. Click on downloads, click the latest link, download it. It's going to be this. Install this file. Okay, done. <clears throat> the third application we'll get to just now. There's going to be the driver here. You can just eject that, but make sure that the application is open and running. It's going to be this little icon on the top. It's going to say for Wii Remote, but don't worry about that. It's just to confuse the system into thinking the controller is a virtual um, HID remote control. Next, so let me just unplug this and show you guys. Uh, okay, you're gonna want to go to your. Make sure you copy this file, this downloaded file, into your applications. You're gonna want to open it. You're gonna plug in your Xbox One controller, and press the Xbox button, and make sure it's plugged into the controller. Obviously, press the Xbox button until the light starts blinking. Click the connect button. Controller is connected, ready to use. As we can see, we'll, it is trigger sensitive. All the buttons, D-pad buttons, trigger, bu um, analog buttons, everything works perfect. Minimize this. Make sure this is running every time you want to run a game. Okay, this is open. This is open. It is detected as a controller. The light will be constant white. First, we'll test out Steam. With Steam games, it recognizes the uh, the controller as, um. 
as a native controller basically uh, let's open up steam quickly okay once steam is loaded we get to the um, full screen mode And just click this whatever and if we go straight to our controller it's going to start working and listen the controls are going to be mixed up it's going to say A to select uh, B to go back but it's wrong it's the opposite way around now how do we fix that we're going to go into settings and we're going to go to controller and we're going to say edit controls okay now here Basically, you're going to want to use your, your keyboard for this, it just makes sense. You're going to press enter, and you're going to press, well, want to press the button that's highlighted on this little icon here. So for instance, that's A, I'm going to click A. Enter, B. Enter, Y. And you're going to continue all the way down through these, aha, here left stick X so basically you want to press in, uh, enter and move your uh, analog how it's sort of shown there so it's like left to right so just move it to the left and it should say axis zero enter move the uh, the left con analog um, upwards should say axis one okay you're going to complete all of this for the right axis as well and then your two triggers left and right triggers Okay, you're going to go out, it wanna, might uh, ask you to save to help other users of Steam to just get it and you can do that if you want to. I have, I've uploaded the Xbox One um, whatever thing. Uh, okay, and basically you can use your Xbox One controller directly into Steam games which is absolutely awesome. Let us go, let's just quickly hide this. Oh no, it's not hiding. Okay, fine, whatever, I'll use the second desktop. Sorry for the change in wallpaper that affects you. Next um, is gonna be for games that are like Pharrell. I think I'm saying that right, Pharrell. So you can play Call of Duty, Metro, all these other games that you have downloaded from the App Store instead of from Steam. <coughs> so you're gonna wanna go to the App Store and download joystick mapper um, I already created a preset for the map mapping of the Xbox One controller for my Call of Duty here you can just edit this preset set however you want everything to be if you don't know how to do this um, okay let me just show you quickly you select which key, keyboard key mouse whatever mm -hmm. select whatever you want it to be Okay, and then you have to click scan and press the button that you want allocated to that motion or whatever. Okay, um, close that. Once that's done, name it whatever, and then you want to click use this preset. Once it happens, we might experience lag, so I'm sorry because of the screen recording. If not, then awesome. And open this up. Let's just do our own servers, just so I can show you that everything's perfectly working. Okay. Um, okay, guys, so I can, maybe you can hear the analog. Knife, I made the right trigger button that. Okay, there is a bit of lag because of the recording. Zoom in, zoom out, shoot, reload. Everything works perfectly. Okay, so yeah, that's basically about it. Use the joystick mapper to map um, any game that you want and use whatever preset before your game. Make sure that the enabler is on and connected, obviously, and that the, the WJoy is open and running. Oh yeah, just leave that running always. I mean, it doesn't. It's not affecting anything. So then you can just use the Xbox um, control enabler application. So guys, that concludes the uh, tutorial. I hope I've included everything. 
in the tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask me. If anything's not working, I will try my best to help. Might not. <coughs> but um, it worked for me, so it should work for you. I'm running OS X uh, Yosemite for people who might think that this is just a skin or whatever. There we go. OS X Yosemite 10.10. 10. Uh, and yeah, uh, that concludes the tutorial. I hope it helped again. I'm not really that much of a YouTuber, but there was nothing how to use your Xbox One controller on your Mac. And this is it. Um, do not buy the driver unless you think this method is <laughs> wrong or whatever. But I will put the link to the description for the application, the joystick mapper, and the WJoy app. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. I might have future videos. Um, cool. Cheers.